Hi everyone, welcome to Camp Keyframe. In this video, I'm gonna tell you something about compositions, which are basically uh, groups in After Effects. If you're familiar with Illustrator, you can uh, group objects together and double click the group to isolate those layers and edit them individually. And in After Effects, it's kind of the same. Let's just create our first uh, composition uh, by clicking the little button, I'm sorry. Uh, right click here to new composition or click the little button right here. And we have our settings. So let's first give, first give, uh, give it a name. Uh, composition uh, pff, test. Uh, give it a width and height. Uh, for, my, for me it's now 1200 by 1200. Uh, we're gonna animate at 25 frames per second and the duration can be like 10 seconds, okay? So there it is, there's our composition. It shows up here, composition test, and it shows up here. So when you're animating in After Effects, you always need to create a composition to start with. Everything you create is inside your main composition, but within that composition, you can uh, create uh, separate compositions. Uh, so if I, I have these different uh, objects here, I'll just drag them on my timeline. You know, that just let's just do it uh, at once. Uh, drag them in and just uh, position them how I like, yeah, like this. And just um, lock that one. And I have these different stars here, and I'll just move them around so they look nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, one thing to uh, to notice is if I oh, if I scale this up, uh, it gets yeah you can see it right here with this one you can see it it's get it's kind of pixely I don't want that so just uh, click on this little button right here to continuously rasterize it, which means it'll save the information from Illustrator so it'll always be nice and crisp. Um, so now I've uh, imported these uh, different layers into um, my composition, uh, but these stars, I want to uh, kind of group them together because they can just be one one shape. I don't, I don't need to individually animate them. So if I select uh, I select them all and right click on them and go to pre-compose and I can give it a name. Uh, in this case, it's stars. Move all attributes into the composition, yes. Click okay. And then I've created a single group for all these stars. I can double click this and then go into that group and I can just uh, animate these individually, individually, well, and uh, go back to composition. And now the stars composition is inside my main composition, inside the composition test. So there is the composition test. It's like I can rename it to main comp, and stars uh, is just. Uh, and I can use. I've, I can also group these ones together. Uh, right click, pre-compose uh, elements. I can type. And they're grouped together also. Don't forget to also click the button right here to make it to continuously rasterize them. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So remember, always create your first composition, and in in that composition you will you will be like a, uh, doing any uh, everything. You'll be animating your whole project within that main composition, and then you can group uh, individual items together to you know make them uh, yeah stick together. And what I can do now is I go to the stars and I can. Uh, scale them up uh, together or turn them around, uh, rotate them uh, together. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Thanks, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.